Welcome everyone to a Saturday night session two one life event here on Squad Ops. I am Wilbur. Along with me tonight is Killer Man Time. What's going on, Killer? Oh, good, good. Just you know, got done with the the first round today. Awesome. Yeah, tonight we got Operation Navajo Fire on Kohat. It's going to be the U.S. versus the Russians. And let's bring up real quick the op map so you all can see what's going on. You see here the map right here. The U.S. is going to be pushing out of that northeast fob. And their job is to find and locate a Russian cop location, assault the Russian location, and secure that position by destroying the radio. Uh, and then what? Uh, what's the, how are the Russians going to be run tonight? Um... Objective wise, they're to defend whichever fob they choose. Okay. Uh, actually, I think there's only one, isn't there? Uh, uh, I no, think there's, there's three. Two, yeah, there's three different locations. Yeah. yeah. Three different locations and eliminate all U.S. forces. Pretty simple. It's just to defend and destroy. Okay. Awesome. And then uh, loadouts for tonight, starting on the U.S. side. If the U.S. decide to take an infantry platoon, they're going to get one squad lead, two FTLs, two ARs, two GLs, one medic, and then across the entire platoon, they're going to get two MGs, two LATs, two ammo bearers. Vehicle-wise, they're going to get two Mat-V open-top 50 cals, two trans trucks, and possibly a helicopter tonight. And then support, they're not going to get any FOBs, but support missions, they're going to be getting four mortar smoke or mortar he barrages two a10 airstrikes and four mortar or i'm sorry four artillery smoke barrages if they do the mechanized platoon option they're going to get one sl two ftls one ar one medic and across the platoon they're only going to get the uh crewman as needed because they're going to be getting two bradleys and two strikers no fob support and then support for the commander they'll get one mortar he barrage and then two artillery smoke barrages what's up what are the loadouts for the russians for the russians we got two types we got a hilltop fob loadout and a patrol base loadout we'll go over the hilltop fob first hilltop fob starts with an infantry level uh squads uh one sl two ftls one a or two ars one lat one medic and a platoon level loadout uh two mgs and four engineers. Uh, you can get a, uh, for vehicles, four Logi trucks with uh, half and half on ammo and uh, build. Uh, for FOB and support logistics, we've got one FOB, one Cornet, uh, and various defensive structures. And for support, they've got two SU-25 airstrikes, rocket or bomb. And that's it for Hilltop FOB. For patrol base loadout, uh, they'll be going with, uh, for squad, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, one Medic. On a platoon level, it's going to be two MGs, four HATs, and four ammo bearers. Vehicles is one Logi truck, also half ammo and build, uh, and two trans trucks. For the FOB support and logistics, we're looking at one FOB in various defensive structures. And for support, they get two 155 smoke barrages. Uh, pretty interesting. It sounds like we're going to get... And, of course, I disconnected again. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to try to bring the stream back up. Hopefully, we don't have this during the actual action. So, give us one second. We'll be back up. All right, everyone. Well, uh, as I load back in, we're going to hit keep on going with this uh commands for tonight over on the u.s side we're going to be starting out with dwarf and command and then his 2ic is going to be wolfgang following out the rest of his sls is going to be mr raggy uh and we have a major issue uh what is the uh russian commands for tonight russian commands are sugar heart for his command uh 2ic is going to be guido and his two, his uh, three SLs are going to be NSA, Fulcrum, and Oddball. Awesome. And uh, yeah, I got to bring everything back up. I'm having some big issues. Uh, it seems like for some reason, Squad wants to take over my entire two screens. And I don't know why. Hopefully... We can get this fixed here very shortly for you all and bring you all into the action. 
Uh, so what are your thoughts for the op tonight being an attack and defend? you think anything's going to be a little bit different? Do you think it's going to be the same as normal, just a regular attack and defend? Be, I think it's going to be the same as normal. We're going to have, for the U.S. side, they're going to probably push some forces towards the point, and then they're going to also send someone to wrap around. Um, listening to something that the Russian side was talking about, they've got their... Uh, possibly doing a patrol um so that could hinder the u.s forces a bit yeah i'm i'm looking for i want to see if they use the helicopter I'm, I'm hoping that they use it but they might not um and if they don't if they use it they got to worry about that cornet taking them all out yeah but I think, like, right before I disconnected, I think they're actually going to do the infantry so they could take the helicopter. But, of course, they're probably discussing that now, and I'm not in the game just yet. Uh, we'll be in here, hopefully, shortly. And it looks like I made it back just in time. They're now lined up to do a, a uh, squad brief, platoon brief here on the U.S. side. That was close. They're almost here. Made it just in time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready for Operation Navajo Fire here on the 16th of May on Kohat, U.S. versus hey. Russia. I think this is going to be interesting. A lot, of, a lot of command support that they're getting on both sides tonight. Oh, well, that's why we have to say Andy. Andy. Hey, squid, put your weapon on there. Who was it? Who was it? I'm scared of shit. We got a puppy firing. Uh, yeah, we'll say it's a puppy. Uh, <laughs> We're going to get you. live at 7.39 in about five All minutes. Right, boys. Welcome to Operation Navajo Joe. Oh, excuse me, it's Navajo Fire. Um, <laughs> we are in the U.S. We are going to be clearing out a Russian fob somewhere in the south side or west side of the Kohat River. Our mission, or our execution rather, we have Merrick Squad, which is Squad 2. They're going to be taking two MRAPs, and the rest of the platoon is going to take the two trans trucks. And we're going to be following this path down the river or down the road. Uh, we're just basically going to sweep around the whole east to south to west side of the map with our vehicles. Our primary concern is if they have a FOB in Gulf 11. <laughs> if they have a FOB in Gulf 11, then we'll deal with that accordingly. Otherwise, we'll try and take make use of that high ground and look north to the other five locations they may have. So once we cross or get around the uh, bridge at Kilo 10, once we get around that location is when we're going to stop and assess. We'll probably have to ask all of you to dismount and head west across that, uh, across, yeah, the, the arrows won't work, guys. Uh, we'll have to head west across the uh, ridgeline. Wolfgang squad and sea bass's squads will be the ones walking along the ridgeline. Merrick and Groot will keep going along the road to the south, provided there's no contact. We're going to do everything we can to make sure we don't get our fucking full squad wiped in a truck. So, uh, it'll probably be a lot of walking, boys. Can't help it. Sorry. But, know this. Know that we have four times 81 millimeter mortar barrages, two times 810 airstrikes, and four times, uh, artillery smoke barrages. Um, our, our, uh, higher command has given us better mortars than what we have used in the past. So uh, these ones won't just tickle the enemy, they'll actually kill them. So if you got a good target, call it up to your squad leader so your squad leader can throw it on the map and then I can call in the heavy shit. Any questions? Uh, question. Yeah. Uh, are FTLs allowed to mark on the map for requesting air support? Uh, it doesn't work. 
copy. Uh, we, we tried we tried it in the map uh, the uh, op earlier. It didn't work. So it will one day FTLs. You'll be able to do it yourself. But as of right now, it doesn't work. Sounds good. Any other questions? Does the commander strikes a cooldown? Yeah, so that's that's kind of what I just said that with our commander airstrike, so we have the two A10s and the four 81 millimeter barrages, and then four artillery smoke barrages. Why didn't we go with the mechanized up? Uh, because big boom boom of mortars and art or mortars and airstrikes can cause a whole hell of a lot more damage than our vehicles can probably. That just means we're gonna get fucked next round, so. I know, right? The two uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like rabbits. getting fucked. I mean, what? Alright, get up, set up in your vehicle. Also, get it looks staged. like they have Barton, so... Listen, um... I will put OWI in their place in a heartbeat. <laughs> and here we are. We are live with Operation Navajo Fire. Kicking off with round one. Russian forces moving out to their points. I don't think I've ever noticed this little rock gap that they're driving through right now, unless that's something new. That is actually pretty cool. Let me know if the MRAP see if we can't, we can't really see. find out what these r dirty Russians are doing tonight. Get a little bit closer to where they're going to build up. Hey, let's, yeah, hey, I think let's I might have had it wrong. Give everyone space. It might have been Hilltop Fob that they are using because I'm reading the op doc and you're the one we can't you're go the we're not going faster stop I don't know <laughs> I don't know yeah I know I, we got time because Dorf's going to have everyone unload from the vehicles a pretty far ways out and it's going to be a lot of walking for them Yeah, Scope, uh, go ahead and keep checking out, watching the stream. Maybe you'll pick up some points and tips for uh, round two in case anyone disconnects or has to leave. It always happens. Stay in the pre-op channel. Don't leave. You may end up getting in there. They did, they did pick up the Hilltop Fob lo uh, loadouts, right? Uh, let's check. Uh, yes. Yes, they did. Okay. So, yeah, they're going to have a lot of defenses going up considering they got four lodges with half and half uh, supplies and construct or ammo and construction. So they're going to have, I think they're going to end up, especially with the amount of uh, time that Dorf is going to take putting all those people on foot patrol. They're going to have a lot of defensive structures built up. I see a lot of razor wire going up now. They'll probably build up from there. There's something that What's doesn't... What's the overrun oh. for kills nope, made by artillery? Nope. I take that back. It's not hilltop loadout. It's oh, patrol, it's patrol. base loadout. It's patrol. Oh, yeah, they yep. still... they still Well, only one logic. I don't know. Probably okay. Not, but... Well, maybe next round we'll uh, get the... We'll get the hilltop, and they're going to have a lot of supplies to build things up. The one thing that I do right, like about Kohat is there is a lot of hills where you can get... Good observation out, posts going up. You don't really have to do a, a listening around. post to find yeah, everyone. You can just do it with observation. And it looked, yeah. but the thing is, is Dwarf is taking yeah, all of his people right. on the yeah. south side of this high mountain. I don't know if they're going to get some people. Oh, it looks like they got one squad going up there to look on that ridge. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you're looking at. Frederick. Let's get ourselves yep. some security. Fulcrum get yeah, Fulcrum Squad. I think this is the mountain that Dorf is going to try to assault. Fulcrum might be in some fun. He might be having some fun time here. Are we uh, cleared hot on the 50s? That's going to be some early contact. Yeah, you're uh, that's going to be a while. They just released all their foot mobiles out Don't towards the east the side. Any of you? They're all the way up in the Lima grid, Lima nine grid. 
That is a really long walk for the U.S. Oh, yeah. All right, it doesn't look like a rough thing right now. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, Estorf just look wants to get some eyes and see get your where they're actually putting up. it. Get your squads loaded up now and... Uh, I don't think they're going to foot mobile from team. here. Dorf is saying load people up and then we're going to proceed from here. Is that for all of them? He's checking the first, yeah, it's for everyone. Don't first worry about point that they could one. have. First point that they could have and then he's so, going to load everyone up and go to the next one. I want... Uh, Hmm. The the two M reps oh. and a hey, trans Dorf, truck. Do you see the that's uh, gonna be a little boring on the top, the to the top hill? What? No like the tallest the tallest hill. I thought I saw somebody's skyline yeah. on the on the left side of it. Like two four six. Looking, I don't see. Anything. Why don't you tell your story? I think you know, nuclear potato actually just called someone out from all the way over there, up on top of the hill. Let me go check where I know they went to this mountain range. All right, so yeah, let's get let's get the Ebraps going. The Ebraps and Groot squad will That's possible. travel all the they way are south there. and wrap around yeah. that way. Um, I think he spotted someone all the way down the there from trans. with his binox. Wow, good <laughs> eyes, potato, nucular uh, potato. Yes, yeah, even with binox, with that's ridiculous. Else, he can fit in there. Yeah, well, he's probably playing at four K. Go to Hotel Eleven Eighty. <sighs> Keep rubbing it in my face, people. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to fit everyone in there, but... What's going on, Croc? How you doing? Uh, not two squads, but at least one and a half. So, that's fine. Well, whatever you can't fit in there, everyone else... Sorry, I don't know who Jane Attila is. Jane Attila. Slime God, so... Where sorry. The MRAPs? Sorry, there was a lot of chatter. Alright. MRAPs? We'll keep going all the way south, and we'll keep, like, uh, wrapping around the end of the map. Names. Um, on the southwest side of the map, I want the two trans trucks loaded up. I don't know who that is. They will stop nope, at Gulf nope, 1365 nope. and dismount troops. So, if you say it fast Our enough, it sounds like something completely different. After they Aha! The <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm about to go to go Google. <laughs> good one, good one, yeah, slime. Yeah, yeah. Good one. If I had a helicopter, if I had anything else, it would not be this difficult, but... Though, then again, I could be wrong, and someone has a really, really sad name choice. Later on tonight, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what my first sergeant... My, the first sergeant that I checked into my first unit in the Marines, what his name was. Be careful as we drive on the roads. Well, the issue Never also is, is my pronunciation is atrocious oh yeah I'm, I'm in the same boat with you albeit i have a tendency of tripping over my words and not actually pronouncing them at all properly yeah i worked years and years and years to get rid of my south baltimore accent i used to say uh ocean as i'm going down to the ocean i'm gonna go watch the o's and... plays Russian forces have spotted the uh, convoy for the U.S. side. Oh, they got them across that bridge from up on high, huh? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, well, yeah, they they can, from their position right now, they can just watch the entire U.S. force just push along. The U.S. forces know they're up here, don't they? No, Dorf uh, didn't, didn't uh, heed the instruction or the call out. And we can see the the red up there. That is the Russian forces. Blue is the U.S. forces. All right. Yeah. Let's get our dismount here. U.S. forces pulling out. They are yeah. positioning yeah, they're themselves. Dis to yeah, be. they're dismounting now. Great. You can keep your squad mounted up, and you're gonna keep following the the uh, MRAP. So MRAPs keep going west. The other two squads, we're okay. gonna keep going north. Seabass is driving up to Hotel uh, 11, right? Yeah, just take your squad up there. Hey, I need Bono's 296. All right, hold up, hold up. Oh, they may have found uh, those Russian forces up on top of the hill. hill. Top of the hill, 300. They spot us. All right. Yep. Copy. Let's dismount vehicles in. Oh yeah, I see them. 300. 
They're coming at yep. us. No, Command has seen them. Been, the they've back. been spotted, and Fulcrum just called out their dismount point. So. Best putting down some fire. Back, that range is going to be pretty spread. Intersection and Hotel 11. Wolfgang will stay here. Copy that. Copy. Crew, I want you running northwest with the MRAPs. Everyone spread out, yeah, uh, spread out. We never, we don't know what they could have for assets. A little higher. Yeah, you're on the money. Got the meaty machine gun putting oh, down God. some suppressing oh, fire. I see the Russians are starting to fire in on this sea bass uh, squad that's trying to move towards the hill. It's like tactical tater. If so, be a clear mark. We'll drop more. Stand by for. I'm gonna have a good one. Holy shit, I'm flying. Support request maximum. Hey, that, that one I gave just now. Russian That's forces good. on the hill are starting to return fire. Yeah, I'm seeing tactical tater bipodded up. All he right. hasn't hit anybody yet, but he's really close to more. hitting someone. It's, they're cutting. Yeah, he's getting there, but he's got a lot of fire coming in on him. Oh, he did get one. Now he's going for more, and yeah, he's starting. To, he's starting to get a lot of fire in on him now. And the Russians look like they are pulling some of their forces back. Once those rounds in, are heading. Keep heading. The U.S. forces are they climbing up the side of the hill? They are going down towards the northeast side of the hill to climb up on top and walk the ridge line. Looks like mortars are coming in from the U.S. side on top of that hill where Tactical Tater was. Yeah, it looks like the Russians are preemptively moving some yeah, of their forces it. back so that they don't get caught in the low ground. Oh, those perfect mortars. Yeah, those are perfect. Oh, those Dude, mortars are absolute. Yeah, they are absolute perfect mortars, except for the Russian Three forces that pulled back Three down the north. hill. Just yep. North from where we are. Two and four they would have been perfect. That's, uh, that's the wording. They would yeah. have been perfect. Yeah. And now it looks like the U.S. is going to get the high ground on that FOB location, which is not what you want to be in. You don't want the attacking team give, getting the high ground on it. I probably, if I was on the Russian side, put two squads, maybe one on that hill that's getting uh, mortared now, Squad three, and then one on the hill that we're looking at right here, just in case. Roger. Once you give up the high ground, we all know what happens to Anakin. Yeah, he got oh. Damn. I told them to keep on running, but he stomped. That's why he died. Um, so tell well, you guys to keep on running. U.S. force is making a nice push around. We're going to be split for a while. We're going to be split for a while. Yeah, Russian force is pulled back, I want you to go into straight north. Go over the hill. Yeah, looks like they've Full reached copy, their second north. point. And possibly pulling squad four of the Russian Copy forces four. You can back just go towards north. the south. I don't think we need to follow the road anymore. I think we just need to get over that hill. Squad two's two is moving context. out uh, to possibly loop on the U.S. Copy. Yeah, forces. Two, just watch the hill for the speed time, and then we'll probably have you drift all the way to the far west. Yeah, once we got we get over the hill. one squad moving up with two of the open top M wraps going further, further to the west. So I guess push up on top of this hill, and then you got one squad that is further down northeast, the well, the eastern side of that hill, and they're going to push around. And it looks like Dorf is going to push and try to get himself on top of the hill somewhere in the middle with another squad with him, hotel, uh, just to get an overwatch of where uh, everybody is west. for the Russian forces. Yeah, well, hold on. If it got up there that quickly. They may have come from the compound in Golf 9-1. Uh, Golf 9-1. Good spacing. I want to come look at this spacing. 
If you call that good spacing, my friend, yeah, that, get over that's the like hill, three sure mortars and they're gone. Cover our west, so uh, when three comes over, they're not surprised. Yeah, copy. We'll do. I guess it's good spacing across the squads, you know, from yeah. one squad to another, but that's about it. Yeah, inner, inner squad, they're pretty much really clumped together. Yeah, looking over here with uh, Seabass and his group, they are on top of each other. One mortar round, and there goes the squad. Oh, it looks like the Russians moved to a higher point. All right, yep. two, you can go ahead and start, uh, Ah, I did not see west. that all the way over there. Salted Potato just moved from one high point to another high point. Excuse me? Up there with Fulcrum, one of the squad leads. He's probably got his binos out waiting for him to crest that hill. They're trying to keep the high ground. They don't want the U.S. forces to have it. Because once they have it, they've got the advantage. No, they're on the hills to the... Yeah, absolutely. Oh shit, oh, I, I was looking at Fox, yeah. Yeah, Boognish, that's what we call a Dundalk Martini. You take Natty Bow and put some Old Bay and some crab meat in it. One of my favorite drinks. I just like Enemy putting Old Bay on popcorn. Oh, uh, Old Bay on everything. I put it on my corn, uh, and people look at me like I'm an idiot. Eight, six, seven, Actually, that's no, not bad. Eight, six, seven, I've had that. All right, if it's a juicy target, put Makes some street fucking, corn uh, look like a, a pop favor. No, it's just an AR. <laughs> Ooh, U.S. forces moving their, their uh, mat fees. Uh, yeah, Frost, incoming, he's going to be... Incoming, he's going to be... Oh, incoming what? Oh, I hear a plane coming. That's just fucking background noise. Uh -oh. oh, yep, that's background. Thought I heard a fucking jet coming in. Yeah, I don't think they have... They would... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, for this... Now the Russians have airstrike. Yeah, the Actually, Russians have the airstrike, and airplanes. the U.S., since they took the infantry option they get oh, they're too fast they get two a10s bro can you hit, head more east northeast hmm salted potato might be getting three yeah mr raggy squad the up here from not taking advantage oh, no one is looking to their side you opened up fire on the furthest team oh no <laughs> Yeah, but they, they might tag real? command. They might tag them, but the U.S. forces are now wrapping the side of the hill. Salty Toast, if he just looks a little bit more over. But no one sees the U.S. forces literally southeast of him. Oh, I know. Dwarf just caught out. He's going to call mortars in on him. Oh, that was not a good choice. I'm surprised they don't hear the MRAP coming. The MRAP's coming up the road. Mary, be careful. I can't hear them. Bed. Oh, maybe I just got my my sound up too high. We're gonna short the bed for oh, I hear mortars coming in on that position, landing pretty close. They're running right into them. They're gonna try to pull back, salty tater, tactical tater, salty toast. Oh man, did they get off at just Ooh. the right right time? It would have been Fulcrum annihilated. With another another lucky pullback. I almost want to. I almost want to call like uh, stream sn sniping uh, shenanigans. Echo nine four five. Full squad. Oh, I mean, normally, yeah, yeah. but. The mortar sends out, I think it's like two rounds before the entire thing comes down on your head. So you could be lucky. Then again, if you're properly set up, you should always move just a little bit when the mortar rounds go off. Because you can hear them before yeah. they hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can definitely hear. And you know, you well, at least coming. in game, go it's hard when you're in admin camp. But when you're in game, you hear no, when they're actually like coming in on your position which is nice that they do in the game squad one i want you ending up in fox nine four five fox oh, nine yeah. four five 
Uh, yeah, I'm from the East Coast. I'm, uh, I live in Southern Maryland, so Old Bay is like, at the moment. It's like a right ritual of passage into manhood. Four, go ahead and move to Delta 10 1. Move the hill. And they call that a Dundalk Martini. To, Echo 9 3. to the village. Folk, or not Fulcrum Squad, but, uh, I can't remember whose squad this is. Mr. Raggy Squad over yeah, here on the yeah, the yeah, south no, south hill. Oh, he loses frost. Yeah. They're getting a, they're getting a lot of fire coming in from the north side from a long distance, probably about two to two fifty meters. Good, good. Ooh, getting a mortar barrage dropped on squad two the of the Russian forces. Three, I want you to head to the village in Echo 9-3. Oh, that's not going to go yeah, good. No one's moving. Got row. I see a whole lot of dudes in the open at my 326. So, yeah, they're they're moving into the town Delta 993. Good old they're Silver they're Spring. They're I was, I was, I was got born the up there. Up. Yeah, for context to a North Delta 11. Yeah, we still got more of the US. Four. Oh, they calling it more mortars? Oh, they do get they get four rounds of it. I forgot about that. Forty squirting uh, west. Well, they finally pulled out, so they're good. Are those good mortars one? Oh, I don't think I good should have mortars, said that. Mortars. Guardian is still within the explosion up. zones. All right, we still have see, one mortar barrage. We still have one mortar barrage and Jackson. two airstrikes. Ow, how did they see him all the way over there? So Good call. Echo 925, Echo 925. Man, they, well, they were firing. They were firing at the um Oh, they were yeah, doing the easternmost yeah. okay. team. We have contacted Delta I forgot that they were even all the way out here. Yeah, same here. That's three mortars mortar barrages that they've been able to pull away from that only leaves the u.s side with one more mortar barrage i think yep one more mortar barrage and they still got their two a10 um, strikes and four smoke barrages the artillery smoke they, they barrages Wolfgang, yeah whole squad in the open three two fulcrum still getting lucky up here on the the uh, hilltops gonna... just harassing yeah, the u.s forces I think they've they've mobilized another squad or a fire team to go up and around them. It looks like the Mat V's might be coming coming to the rescue. They're pretty high up. Mat V's aren't moving. They've kind of they've been sitting at this little point for a while now. Yeah, they need to get them into the game. I think they fear that they haven't taken out enough people works. on the uh, Russian side because remember the Russians have at least a lap per team. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I probably here. wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, get we'll him too close. I'd probably save him for the last little bit. And I said this was the patrol base, right? Correct. So they also should have four hats in in a. Hey. Well, okay, you might as well hey. head west. <laughs> yeah. head four. So them playing it right. cautious with those Matt V's is okay. The issue is if they play it too cautious. Oh, eight ten strike. Where'd it land? Did it get anybody? Ooh. Not down by not uh, not an NSA spy. It was really sure. close. Dorf called well, that have, like yeah, to ten twenty meters just north of not an There's NSA spy and three other people. Oh, the, uh, he would have got Russian three. Russian command is Dorf. Do you want us to bring one of these? Is, uh, uh, basically stating they uh, along, so we get some almost turned their britches brown. Yeah, <laughs> Did not I expect that too. coming in. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Raggy's slowly moving his forces further north to get to this next hilltop. Closer to Fulcrum Squad. This is one. We are on the riverside. We are heading west. Copy. I want you to get into Mode's Eye and hang out there for a little bit while the rest of the platoon gets oriented. A firm, we'll do. We'll secure Mudza. And command is asking to secure Mudza. That's a good fucking break. Got this squad moving in. Yeah. 
We're basically trailing behind Silent and his squad. Four, are you able to push Got north the Matt there? B's getting ready to yeah, push up on the uh, edge of the hill here. And same with you too. Not going to see much, though, from here. Right Most, if not all, the Russian yeah, forces are uh, way uh, down in the here. valley. Yeah, and they can hide so well on all of these bushes. That's the other thing. Yeah. Russian camo on this is actually, I think it's really good. Their desert camo. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. The U.S. desert camo works pretty well on this also, but I think the Russians have an edge on it. Yeah. Uh, looks like Oddball Squad might be, oh, looks like he's taking some fire from the Matt B. Yep, Matt B oh, yeah. spots Oddball Squad. I think they were attempting to try and get up behind them following the map border. Copy. I have eyes on a lot of these guys as well for my position. This is like one straight north. Hold. Loading, loading. Cut. And we're only sitting at four kills for the U.S. and two for the Russians. A little slow so far. I have a feeling that this is going to break out as soon as they get closer to the FOB. We're probably going to see oh, yeah. a massive amount of kills very quickly. Well, the Russian forces have done pretty good at at uh, setting up their positions around their FOB. Um, you got U.S. forces pushing from the east up the hill towards Silent. No, I don't think they're pushing. They're in the town so far. All right, let's do a strength count one. What's your strength? Yeah, they're just in the town. Uh, eight strong, including us. Yeah, I think they're clearing Coming Mod's two. eye first before they probably push up to this hill towards the west. Nothing like two, not clearing out of town and then you push off of two, it and then people come behind you and wipe you all out. Oh, yeah. All up. If they push up that hill, it's going to be up to Alpha Guido to see if he can yeah, hold them one. back. All right, so Alpha we'll will get it done. Fucking platoon. Not too bad. Hopefully we've hope. killed more than that. A lot of long distance trading tonight. I see a juicy mortar target. What's going on, JS? How you doing? Chris, welcome. Thank you for your service. Canadian military base. Not even going to try to pronounce that because I'll screw it up. You want us to come up here and suppress him? Um. Hi. I don't know. Slowly I'll crest this and get eyes. North and northwest. Two's got contact. Two separate locations west of the possible fall. Oh, Dash B. He's about to pop the, his uh, head. Oh, nope. He laid down. He's going to try to Copy. see if I he can find any targets. West. He is the GL for this squad. Looks like Oddball Squad might get a little break here and get behind that... Uh, Hill in front of the U.S. forces, which will obstruct minimum. their vision. I'm gonna put some fucking rounds on them. That'll be the last of our mortars. Yeah, he, that's gonna be a long flank. Guys, that's a long way to talk. walk. That's a long flank, but if I those mean, Matt Vs don't move, the they oh, might be able to. I wonder what Oddball's loadout is. That's to our north, northeast. That sounds like the reason. He's got one of the hats in his squad oh just saw oh, a lat round go over yes, top <laughs> oh wow all right. that was actually uh, a pretty cool shot we might have to try to clip that earlier and uh save it as a picture all right three and four you're gonna work together uh karma's uh, not playing tonight uh i think he's one, off doing other great things middle. I think the U.S. forces are oblivious to Eyeball. Eyeball is squad four, correct? Um, yes, he is. And no, they aren't oblivious. They are. They do know someone's down there. Um. Ooh, Dwarf just caught some people with a mortar. He gets some kills yeah. with that. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh, that, man. I think that was half of Oddball squad there. Yeah, I think he caught it. I think he caught two with that mortar strike. Got two more running off of it. 
And that's right, one, that's a that's long one. way to catch somebody. That's like 900 meters. And on point, Dorf. You beast. Remember, we also have four times. Uh, looks like Oddball might be pushing back. Do you guys see any contacts close to one to the Honestly, rest? I don't know if Oddball uh, is trying to go so for a flank else. or if he's just trying to find a, a way to relink with the rest of the Russian you, forces. He can't us. really move much. The Matt V's will light him up. If we also want to smoke these guys out, got plenty of opportunity for that as well. Who's got all the kills for the U.S.? I mean, we're sitting at five and two for the U.S. right now. Lagger's got one. Salty Potatoes got one. Black Dorf's GoPro. Merrick. Dorf's got one. For if you want to just the man, the Dorf's got one. I thought he was gonna have more than that. That mortar strike. I thought he was gonna have at least three. Down goes Dagger. Looks like these U.S. skylining up on this hill got tagged by these um, Russian forces towards the north northeast. They got them pinned down on this hill, so suppressing fire. We're breaking off a little bit. We're not not worth it. Copy. Uh, this is a one life event, Nihilus, so we can't. No one can be revived. Once you're dead, you're dead. You gotta wait until round two to come back in and play. This is squad one. We yeah. hear, we hear eight, eight, five, uh, We're heading Sugar Hearts pulling all the Russian forces except for squad two and squad you gotta, four. You got a bunch of good shooters in your back squad to one. defend the compound. Possible. Squad one and uh, looks like squad two. They're in contact now. All the way out here on the northeast side. Sea bass is trying to, to move that, his people. Frederick. People are moving around. Trying to get his people. I don't think they know Seabass's squads over here. I think they were firing at someone off in the distance, but Seabass, they're all grouped up. Left side, left. West, northwest. I just rejoin yeah. Frederick. Yeah. Don't respawn in. Make sure you join the same it's team. Um, here. And just wait Can for the next round to roll around. Two, you see so crash. Oh, Seabass, his squad done a nice flank out here on the northeast. Got really close. Ooh, grenade from Thin Bones. Down goes Seabass. Oh. I Mona has got Thin Bones, though. Now, you were saying about Alpha Guido. 248 from my position. He's not down, is he? Yeah, I think he is. Oh no, Alpha. Launching GL. On the way. Alright, three and four. Let's start heading north. It looks pretty clear here. I think Silent Oscar like Mike, they're gonna pull back and try to give a new uh, different uh, position. Sergeant Jackson is just trying to hide. Lost McGross is going to do a yeah. little push up, I, I, see if he can't clear this hill out. Sergeant Jackson is going to be a freaking mad dog. He's in a corner. One, if they push up on him, I guarantee you he's going to open on him. We can, we can take oh, and he's hot. Hit in a really good bush. I'm pretty sure he's going to get Soldier Wolfie. Copy I don't know. Uh, get. We're going to get raked by AR5. Oh, from no, Sergeant. Oh, you can barely, move. but right, you can now, barely you know, see him moving around, around in those bushes. Next hill. Yeah, but you can hear him. I think we can get there safely. Copy. Yes, we I'll should be able to four. We're not taking, we're taking literally we're zero contact right now, so I think we're fine. I'm looking for him. One, what's your situation? Oh, oh. oh. called it. <laughs> we're taking casualties here. Sergeant Wolfie down. What? If you're taking I don't two, know if the rest of his squad shouldn't know where Sergeant Jackson is. Hey, four, cover for us while we push north. Cover west. Copy. Sergeant Jackson, the man holding the whole, west, whatever's left two. of that squad back on his own. 
Uh, yeah, two is taking inaccurate uh, lat fire at this time. We're keeping them down. I believe we have all squad out here. What are the U.S. forces doing over on the hill? Are they moving down? Uh, I think they're still looking for people. I think uh, smoke in their position. I see a lot. Uh, of they're they're the they're getting ready to do a push. They're gonna smoke the position on the hill and try to get down in there. To push northeast once uh, the smoke's land. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Once the you push northeast, that gives you all okay, the cover. Yeah. You'll... But there's so much distance to cover between here and then in that fob is location is that a map v one, making its hill, way along north, the to map border the to the west to your towards portal. oddball uh yes it is it is lawn darts doing lawn darts things oh no yeah it looks like he's out with sergeant it looks like he's out with binos Correcting that Matt V where to shoot on the eyeball. Loading third. Oh Two full man. Mags. Two full mags. All right. It looks like Sergeant oh, Jackson up. has successfully pulled back from his Jackson's engagement. Okay. Oh. We got artillery. All right, smoke are landing. No, we got smoke oh, in. Smoke's coming in. Estimated one squad. Oh, this is going to cover right, the entire landing, area. Wow. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. There's an enemy squad, Alpha 93. Copy. He is covering Just, uh, such a large. We're, we're firing like, on him now. Like, he's covered the entire section. I think everyone's going to be blind, except for Guardian and Oscar Mike up here on top of that hill. Everyone else is not going to see what's coming towards them. It doesn't matter. Guardian's being shot at by, I think, the Mat V. Oh, yep, and they're coming off the hill. Got tracers coming in. For you should be able to get up to the nine ten line, no problem. And they still have three more smoke barrages. Yeah, copy. I'm sending a, a fire team trying to hit the target from the southeast. It looks like Lawn Darts is going to re regroup with everybody else. Sitting at seven kills for the U.S. and six for Russia. Going on about, I'd say, half an hour so far, still in round one. Seems long, but this is about normal. Especially, if this is actually going quick for a map of this size. Yeah. I don't really want to say there's a time limit. There is. Just try to it's like seven person. hours. Seven yeah, hours is yeah. more than enough time for them to pull off any. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine if they actually took seven hours to do one round? Three hours kills me for Mars events. <sighs> no. We'd be pulling shifts for streams at that point. Copy. I think we could do it. Maybe. Maybe that's something we can do. We'll do a 24-hour Twitch stream of squad ops <laughs> just inside the server. <laughs> we'll take turns, eight-hour shifts. You gotta have, you gotta keep the servers up and running for 24 hours. Though. Oh, when the servers die down, we just sit, wait, and then uh, start it, start it when, anew. <laughs> Don't ruin my dream. Odds, hey, it's your dream. If you can make it go, you can make it go. I can do 24 hours all by myself. All by yourself? <laughs> just give me my nap times and times to break off for my programs. You just gotta leave the streaming up. You just gotta leave the stream going. Groot, I think you have guys roughly Delta 9. I don't think that six. counts as a 24 hour stream. I, 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 I don't really think that I could probably last longer than maybe four hours before I have Three, to go do something else. Up, like my ADD. My ADD just goes insane. Yeah, I, see, I claim I have ADD, but I'm probably the most patient of individuals. And if you see me go 
go down. Um, and you see me I can and some probably other sit and do something for 10 hours without realizing it. My ADD is about the size of a matchstick head. Looks like smoke's landing. <laughs> U.S. forces suppressing yeah, the Russians the inside the town. Another smoke barrage. Also on the right oh, side of that oh, yeah, it is coming in. It disappeared yeah, for a second for me. I think he's setting up a smoke barrage for... Who is this? Fluff McGruff Salty Potato. Are we platoon pushing or... And I think I just realized what Croc was meaning ahead, by I cover the ground in the, the, in this, the uh, uh, time um, was five. for the time for the smoke screen to disappear. Now. Yeah, I think the the smoke only lasts for like 30 yeah, seconds, your, uh, but we are getting some of the smoke still, balloons up above the, the city. Water. OWI. Yeah. It's still enough. It's still enough for the U.S. forces to push up, get behind cover, and wait for another barrage to come in. Wait. Oh no, they used all their mortar barrages. Ah, damn. Oh. Yeah, they, they did do pretty close. Four. Yeah. Looks like Oddball's moving his way back in down the river. Yeah. And as I said, if the U.S. forces get the high ground in this this engagement, it's it's going to be a uphill, literally an uphill battle for the Russians. Yeah. Or just a downhill steamroll by the U.S. forces. Good point. Yep, sir, head north. Is we'll that Matt B over. still uh, hunting? Just about five seconds. No. What are they doing with him? One, how's it going? Just hold him in reserve. Possibly. Legar, how you boys doing? I can't count how many times I've had to hold this town and had U.S. forces come up and over this hill and just destroy anything that we had inside of this fob. Wait, we have Ooh. Dorf, right? Dorf is in here, right? Yeah, Dorf is the uh, command for U.S. I got a new ink. Do not <laughs> let him toss a grenade through a window. Ammo on me, ammo on me. Oh, <laughs> what did he go. do? Here we go. Give me... Us, oh, it was, uh, I think it was B Car. Um, one of the ops that he was uh, commentating for was on, I'm not sure if it was this map or another one. It looks almost the same as this one. Yeah, we got Blink North um, Northwest. I think it was uh, Dorf like was Bay going to toss a nade in because I think it was yeah, Silent it was covering a doorway inside Is this a house the one where it landed go. on the ledge? Um, no, it's the one where it bounced off the edge of the window seal and came oh, back at him. And all you hear is Dorf go, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do remember that one. And Eyeball Squad gets a nice little counter flank on Dorf and everyone up here with Evan and Hun. Almost kills Dorf. Dorf escapes by the skin of his teeth, still not needing to use a bandage. Let's see here. We're looking at. Wow, still not a lot of kills for either side. Yeah, nine and seven right now. It's from the north. This is not good for the Russians. They are in a barrel. Oh, yeah. They are fish in a barrel right now. Oh, yeah. Just looking at it from uh, Mr. Raggy's squad point, it it's just like a little pool of red. And we got Dash Speed moving in closer. Got uh, Ghost and Digit with him. Digit's a power player. He's a good gunman. He's got some great aim. That northwest flank force is displacing. Now we've got this pressure. Pretty sure Digit's the same way right. Silent right. is with North an West AR and uh, Bartok is with a lat round. Northeast. Well, man, copy. watching we'll Silent fucking, uh, do his, drop, his thing, it's awe-inspiring in some instances because you just don't. Oh, yeah. You can't it's comprehend it. Yeah. Him, Kuba, him and Kuba with an AR is deadly. Our talk with a with a lat, it should just be, you know, banned. And then I, I think Digit with, you know, just a regular M4 or actually any assault rifle just, it's just good. He, he's got good situational awareness. 
Oh, yeah. I wish I had that. I, I'm pretty much a uh, a rock Actually, when it comes to situational awareness. <laughs> there is nothing there. Reloading. Oh, U.S. forces dropping as much smoke as they can down that hill. Oh, and they're saying, it's, yeah, as soon as the smoke's land, they're free to go. Here they come. Ashby, Ghost, and Digit are going to be the first ones to put down some pain. He's on blue smoke. A10. A10. Oh, there's... Ooh. All right, let's go that was their last one, wasn't it? Yep. Then the artillery's going got... in. Dashby's moving in along with Digit on the south side. I think they took out... Nope. Guardian's over there. I don't know who they took off on. Off that hill. Down goes Sugarheart. Dash be pushing in. Sugarheart's dead. There goes the S. The uh, command here. for Russia. Russia back. has not Probably registered eight. it yet. I don't think they're going to register a lot of things. I thought we said they got rid of the last of their smoke barrages. Building clear. Say that again. Copy. Did they get rid of their? Uh, I thought they ran out of smoke barrages. Oh, no, no, they ran out of mortars. They still had uh, one last one for the artillery uh, smoke right, barrage. And Dashby, Ghost, and Digit are inside the compound. And we got another yep. force towards the southwest, pushing on the side of the wall, looking through the spider holes. Ooh, I did not notice them. Ooh, Lex Ryan caught, caught one sneaking through a window. All you, all you. All right, squad three leads down. Russian forces are just getting mowed. Ooh, who's, who's he gets another. Turn? Lex Ryan's still got a bandage, but he's still looking for kills. Oh, and he him. takes down. All right, doesn't look like anyone's in charge of three. All right. All right, Two, who's left in here? here? We got Guardian, Salty Toes, Silver, Garrett, Fulcrum. I think that's all the Russian forces. Nope, we got some Russian forces pushing up the check back. Fire, we got Revy and fire, NSA fire, pushing in. Hey, you still got Oddball Squad out there to the north northwest. Yeah, NSA taking some near shots from the U.S. forces on the hill. What? How are you doing? Revy taken down by Digit, or is we that Dashby? Have our two guys. Nope, it was yeah, Digit. Okay. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Digit gets Charlie. Be slow. Be slow and methodical. Be slow and methodical. We don't need to fucking rush into this. Got some good comms going out on the U.S. side. Now it's in friendly coming through doors. It's the way you got to do it. Fulcrum's in a nice little hole behind a, behind a sandbag with a corner wall behind him. But he might get, yeah. he might get seen. Most of time. I don't think he realizes that he lost his guys in that compound. Uh, negative. Do you have yeah, he's just—he's like uh, just yeah, sitting next to a tree. I don't—I uh, don't know uh, what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, kind of left himself open. Oh, now he's moving. NSA, ooh, that is not a good place to be crawling. Oh, he's almost out. Oh, down ooh. goes Guardian. Raggy got him. That's NSA saying he's in great mortal pain right now. Taking a couple shots from the guys on the hill. Welcome, got uh, Mr. Raggy. Hold on, I got him. I got Fulcrum. Calling close, but Four. he's got no, oh, no one to cover him. He's coming, coming out. out. Oh, oh no! Oh Dorf. man! No, Dorf, no! Okay, this is what's going on. Three, Dorf four. pushed it too oh, hard. No. Fulcrum he almost has to bandage. <laughs> he almost got him with an underhand grenade, but he popped out and then he took him down with his pistol. Fulcrum out of bandages. He is bleeding. Oh, he has no. got to get to the medic or someone with bandages. Do we still have contacts on that rocky? Oh, command? woo! Just made it. NSA using, I think, his last bandage on him. What a team player. Got a Matt B coming into the fob now. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 
Fulcrum oh, down. Oh no. And I think that leaves. Ooh, Oddball eyeball. And... Yep, he's coming up close on these people on top of the hill. I don't know who's going to get there first Stanford's son or who is this? Eyeball. Might be Eyeball. And we just lost I... all the forces that were in the middle of the. Uh, wow, my mind just went. Oh no, Eyeball gets killed by the Matt V while he was trying to snipe Evan. Oh. All right, so all we've got here is we've got Salty Toast and NSA on the point. The two lone men just holding it. Wait, I think they got Garrett in there too. Yeah, they still got Garrett. Who's a medic who should have gone out and helped Fulcrum. Dave, Fuck. Yeah, they're Northwest Hill, but they're not Northwest they're, oh, they're, All right. They're protecting American this radio. Uh, like Salty oh. Toast, uh, not an NA science spy, and Garrett. Is the town secure? Lawn darts asking if the town security is getting a negative on that. Salty Toast, don't poke your head out there. Toss the grenade. Lawn darts made an improper choice to try and push in hey, what's the, what's the, what's and wait did that grenade take out that grenade no, didn't, still up. i didn't even hear the grenade go off yeah it went off it went off under the uh i think it was either the mat v or the uh truck and they're calling out the people around the radio, not an any spy. Salty toast. Goes trying to take out NSA and Salty Toast. Salty Toast takes some hits. I don't know if he's got any more bandages. Yes, he does. Lucky. Oh, they're about to toss a grenade in. NSA down. Salt. Oh. Down goes. Down it goes. Radio on me. Radio on me. They're both down. Get in. They're both down. And Garrett. Garrett taken out by Merrick. All right. So there are no more Russian forces on the point. That leaves whatever's left of Oddball Squad, which is Hedda and Madman Pete. We're taking the radio now. And then there's still two more. Who's that? Yeah, Madman Pete, Hedda. Chunky and Ozzy. Chunky Dan and Ozzy Potter. Yeah, we got four left on the Russian side. They're going to have to retake this compound. And it looks like Madman Peak's running up on uh, some U.S. forces. Hovis. I don't think Hovis hears him. Oh, no, he does. Down to three. Had to hurt him. Shoot. Of it should have just stayed where he was. Oh yeah, shouldn't have moved. Chunky Dan trying to take out Digit gets taken out by Seneca though. What Reggie, is Ozzy Pete shooting with? Is that the pistol or is that he's actually using a rifle? Okay, he is using the rifle. Oh, had a nose. He's there. He's gonna move up to him slowly, but Hovis I think hurt him again. No, Hovis didn't hear him. Nope, yes he did. He's facing this way. Ozzy Pete taking and then he random back. pot shots at the Matt V that has no one in the turret. Oh, always got to secure the gunner. Can't get the driver. That's true. But he's just left himself wide open to... Oh, man. Ooh, had it takes down Hovis. That probably saves uh, Ozzy Pete over here. Down to two. Now we're flipped. U.S. has taken the FOB, and Russians must now take it.
had an almost sniped Merrick going across the road. Ooh. Ozzy Pete tossing some smokes in, probably going to try and push down the hill. Oh, they know where he is now because they just watched that smoke trail go yeah. down just as I watched it. <laughs> oh, and they're trying to hit him with some GLs. Yeah. Oh, and down goes Ozzy Pete. I'm not sure if the GL yeah. got him or if the bullets got him. We're down to the last man. It's going to be Hedda for the Russian forces trying to retake this compound from the U.S. It looks like he's got about seven guys to take on he gets red rated make that six guys oh nope it's eight i didn't see the person inside uh the mat v open top um hmm i think someone forgot they're not supposed to be talking in local when they're dead uh-oh That one's a naughty boy. Oh, I think head is down to nothing but his pistol. <laughs> He's going to pistol rush B. Oof. She could loot the bodies. No, Let's the people the in the game off. don't see the last man. Only the people in the stream see it. Oh, no, he does have an MMG. Ooh, but that's not good for close quarters. No, it's not, especially when they heard him running. Oh, yeah. I'm covering that door. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he almost oh, made it. man, almost, almost. There we are, GG with, uh, I'm sorry, I just hit the wrong button twice. Yeah, that's going to do it for round one of Operation Navajo Fire. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. I, I have a feeling he does. I feel I have a feeling he kept it as... Uh... All right. Oh, here we go. Command brief. Simmer down. I know we're a rowdy bunch, but uh, it's time for serious talk. Quick, everyone look at Sergeant Jackson until he's part of the school, this. All right, there we go. All right, boys. Uh, last round, you all did a good job. It did not work out for us, but we were maintaining kill parity with them for the majority of that round. So uh, you all did what I asked. What I asked just happened to you know not be the right thing. That's okay. I'm willing to sacrifice all of you for a greater good. <laughs> yes, sir. Love this guy. <laughs> Promote the this guy. Now we get to do this from the other side. So our objective for this mission will be to find and destroy an enemy base. Those bases are going to be in one of six locations, uh, either on the hilltop locations, which are marked with the yellow fobs, or at the patrol base locations, which are going to be marked with the red fob marks. Um, we're going to have to sweep through all of those points and find and destroy that motherfucker where he sleeps. The motherfucker is door. The method that we're going to use. Yes. The method to uh, do this will be we're going to sweep from the south to the north, roughly similar to what the U.S. did last time, uh, except we're going to be using much heavier equipment. We won't have indirect fire support like they did, but we will have direct fire support from Bradley's and Stryker. Uh, the first move that we're going to do and the first problem we have to face is getting across that river. So what, the way we're going to do that is the Bradley's are going to move up to Hotel 8 and 9, uh, marked with the Bradley mark that will be shortcoming. There we go. Um, to recon the other side of the river and try to locate the enemy AT assets. Uh, it's possible that they're going to have a static ATGM that they can use to pop all of our fully loaded uh, transports, so we want to make sure that doesn't happen. Squad leaders, make sure you get eyes up first before you expose your vehicles. Uh, we want to make sure and get good recon so we can develop a plan for once we get across the other side of the river. Anyways, the next portion of that is going to be the strikers are going to move across the bridge in Kilo 10. And they're going to get or start assaulting the ridgeline in uh, Gulf 
11, Hotel 11, that big ridge there. We're going to use that as our other base of fire for the next section uh, for when we start moving north. If and when we see an enemy base in Gulf 11, then we'll have to deal with it that way. Probably involve a very bloody assault, but we're going to uh, we're going to deal with it because because we can because we're good. Ura. Sorry, Hua. Ura. 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 All right. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the first part of that? Good. What's our second casualties? part of that? Uh, All of us. Ninety percent. <laughs> All right, so 120 percent. Some of you will die twice. All right, simmer down, simmer down. After we get across that river, if we do not find a fob in Gulf 11, the strikers are going to take up observation positions on the ridge line in Hotel 11. That'll be for uh, Squad 1, and Bravo 12 or Charlie 12 in that area for Squad 2. Then Squad 3 and 4 will pick up from Radio Tower and shift around behind them so that we have our Bradleys to our backs as we move forward. Then we will have a new set of plans after that point. All right, just remember everyone, we are trying to clear those compounds. We need to find where their base is. If we don't immediately see their bases on top of those hills, which we should pretty quickly, then we will have to clear some compounds. Remember to frag, remember to work with buddies, and uh, remember to win. That's the most important. Also looking good. That's the other most important thing. Winning. Hurrah. All right. Well, that's what I forgot to do. Any further questions? No? Cool. Uh, get to your Vix and let's yeah, where are those? hang on to our dick. Uh, I'm going to have to spawn them in. Rock out with your cock out. Hey, SL, just a quick All right. You ready? Yeah, go. All right. So... As Russia, our mission is to defend this fob here in Delta 7-6. It's a nice little hilltop fob we've got going on. Excellent eyes of the whole surrounding Kohat area. Uh, our mission plan, we have Merrick Squad, which is Squad 2. They're going to be fob defense. We're going to have Groot Squad. They're going to have, they're going to go out here to about Fox 7, or excuse me, Fox 6. They're going to go out to Fox 6 and set up to watch the northeast and east. Wolfgang Squad, Squad 4, is going to be out on the helmet mark in Echo 86, watching our southeast. And then Seabass's Squad is going to be on the helicopter mark 9. Uh, it's just going to be an overall wide defense. Wherever they come from, we're going to adjust to it accordingly. We've got our fucking... Our Cornet right here. We've got sandbags and all this other stuff that hopefully will hold up against any airstrikes or artillery or any mortars that they have. Or, uh, vehicles that they have, so. It'll be fun. Uh, expecting a lot of things. Never mind. Alright, thanks. Just a eh. little bit more. Eh. Eh. And here we are, eh. we're live. Round two of Operation Navajo Fire. We got the U.S. forces pushing down south on the main MSR out of that far, far <laughs> main up in the corner. I think that's something that Pony put up there because, well, I, I wouldn't know because I've never been on the, the uh, I guess you would say normal side, like not insurgent side. I mean, Na well, NATO side. I've never been on the NATO side. So you're saying sides and I, I'm just... I remember playing right, this map sure uh, your gunners are scanning the horizon as and just sitting them. on hilltops in, we can get in an Bradley's early or anything that had a long range. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, you know, even in the ops, when I'm playing on the ops, I've been in a vehicle and it's, I've always started on the west side of the map, never on the east side of the map. I, I, I the only reason that I like that that far off post is one it's it's hard to camp it if you end up on a server where camping main is allowed yeah but the it other option like, go ahead yeah it looks like the uh russian forces for squad four and one are moving out as feelers oh yeah also be aware guys Land one exist. squad four is on one of the hilltops and i think squad two might be headed for hilltop g11 
Oh yeah, I see. I see the squad three now. They might uh, end up getting. Well, they're still pretty far off from radio tower, but they'll at least see those Bradleys that mount up on there, and that's Mister Raggy and his squad. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Bradley's right, peeling Bradley's. off. Once you hit M7, I wonder, are uh, the, mines uh, legal? Radio. I didn't even check that. Yeah, double check for Russia. I think they, I know the Bradley's U.S. The can't use anti-personnel mines, but I think the, the Russians might be able to. Nope, nope. Opdoc says Russians may not place AP mines. They can okay. place AT mines, though. Okay. Bradley's the ear rape of squad. <laughs> I wish they'd let you uh, have a audio slider per vehicle type. Yeah, they definitely should have like per vehicle a uh, like at least armor, like be able to turn Bradley's armor down compared to Logis and uh. I would say basically Bradley, anything that's Bradley a troop transport outside of an armor should have a separate slider yeah. and armor right, should have a separate slider infantry. and it should only affect friendly, Bradley not uh, enemy. Hmm. Bradley's are getting pretty close. They're probably about, I'd say 300 meters out from radio tower where they're going to set up an observation post. the cornet looking all right watch your exposure to that ridge i don't want them seeing us too early until the bradleys are in place cornet is looking at radio tower and dorf is hoping they went to the radio tower <laughs> dorf knows that they're going to radio tower that's like the most logical place to have the bradleys go everyone always like even in in vanilla you put your vehicles on bradley to scope in the beginning of a game uh one's anti-personnel it does more shrap i guess shrapnel and area damage while anti-tank is more based against armor uh, Partial targets eyes on the Gulf 11 hill. Correct. i'm not yeah. seeing any movement um, nor and the reason any, uh, chris uh for no personal mines or personnel mines i'm assuming Copy that. actually i don't know what it, what would you think the the reasoning behind that would be it takes away until they get nerfed a little bit like if let's say we have people like the grouping that we see now if let's say vegetable was to go over a an anti-personnel mine everyone around hey, him hey, right now would get would be destroyed uh, yeah, it was but yeah they would die striker. real quick I had eyes like, on. it's I just I made the call to they got a ridiculous yeah and for the one All life right. events, it just wouldn't be fun. Well, let's go ahead and get the other striker no. up there. They, I think they have more damage range than uh, than a up. mortar strike does. And like one mortar round hitting the ground. If... Uh, right, I think they're around the same. I'm, Maybe I'm a little bit less. A little south from radio tower. I'm not seeing anything. No but I think, I think for the ops, they're working on changing it just for the ops. I think in the uh, hardcore mod, Pony's going to leave them the same. So we got infantry Anna Bradley pushing up towards radio tower. Are talking a rather Scottish chap in one Bradley and Lex Ryan and Ace Gamble in the other. The Bradleys are going to be the driving force. Right, we're gonna go My ahead money is on Bartok in rather Scottish. Getting out of there yeah, alive. Go ahead but now that I've said their name, go ahead and set up on the other side of the you know, the commentator the curse comes into, uh, Three and four, comes into play. Uh, let's keep oh, absolutely. We just cursed them, so. We just screwed them all up. If it exists, if it yeah. doesn't, then we gotta... Both I Bradleys have are a gonna die. Of <laughs> both, <laughs> both Bradleys are gonna die now. We screwed everybody. Uh... 
But I was wrong the other day. I that? did curse. Uh, 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 I cursed someone to say that they were going to be the last man round two, and I think they were down to like the third person. Yeah, I think that's a running joke now. Is I curse people to die when I say their name, and you curse people to live until the last. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Let's see. All right, command. I'm yeah, it was it was pretty right bad right round uh, now, one up on that ridge line. of the first op today. Copy okay. that. I just, uh, every two, time I called someone's name, two, like, one, ten I seconds mean, later, the they'd be on the ground. <laughs> I'm just trying to commentate the action. Yeah, so I have to say their name. The Sorry, guys. To our location. So we got, uh, actually, we infantry to glassing to first before they push the that. Bradleys up on top sure of the hill. To that NSA spy, one of the SLs. eyes on enemy hap. Copy. Oh, uh, and Spy has located Echo Dorf in his head. Yep. I said Dorf's name Copy first. That. All right. Let's find their fucking... Yep. Let's find their... They're looking at us. AT, and then uh, destroy it. Oh, they're going after the Cornet first. That's what they want yeah. to destroy before they... Re re I figured before they if they can... Yeah. If they can push over that hill and light up where Dorf is right I now with those two Bradleys... So. It, doesn't matter if there's a coordinate there or not. Ooh, Russians are putting some rounds towards radio tower already. Saw some tracers going across. Uh, two's moving out by a striker, so I don't know if you want us to I don't know which team that one is. Is that three? No, that's four. Well, I'm going to get to where one's going. Yeah, but, uh, Terrapin, Turtles right. putting some rounds down. It's on me. Someone must be glassing for him. Yeah, Looks like it was uh, Wolfgang glassing for him. Putting right, one two rounds over. To Got nuclear potato with glass glass in them too. Everyone's focused towards radio tower, it seems like on the Russian side. I think the uh the strikers might come into a more power play than the Bradleys right okay, now. Because so no one knows that they're back there. Seven, seven, one. It's a big Rock looks like a nipple. Fulcrum just running out in the open on top of the hill for squad four to just take pot shots at. Did you get that? I haven't got the range yeah, in quite right, uh, you guys though. They're falling real you short. Fight should... Turtle is just grazing Understood. everybody. Like he's Three probably if he drops his right rounds now. like yeah, I'm like gone. one mic, he'll probably Taking start nailing fight. Fulcrum and everybody. Yeah. He said turtle, right? Yeah, Terrapin. <laughs> I just call him Turtle. That's what I've always called him. Yeah, this is three. I've got eyes on the ridge line. I'm like, I'm I'm trying to find hey, Turtle the somewhere on the battlefield. I'm like, who's, who's <laughs> Turtle? So do not let them get too close to your Bradleys. He's Turtle guy in the in Discord. Yeah, I figured. One and two. I think I'm, I'm looking one of the, the top of your few individuals who actually the keeps their names semi the same everywhere. I should call it out as their their Steam name. All right, two, we're good. To... No, I, I think they're going to clear. Yeah, you should see squad one direct south of us now. I, I was. I remember, to kill guys. Them, like, if I go down in this next period. Our plan of attack is to attack from the south to the north, from high ground to low ground. If we can get those Bradleys lodged up on the uh, the high ground, we'll be able to decimate anything in the valley. Shogart reassuring that everyone knows the plan to attack from the high ground to the south towards the fob. Ugh. A lot of high ground and low ground to cover. Oh man, this is a this is a marching order. Dorf is just he's he itching. Is hungry. He's he, itching. he is hungry. I don't think I've seen him look anywhere else except for that radio tower. He just keeps scanning it from left to right. He's like, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, he's he's scoping the entire valley. And then back to radio tower. Back to the valley. Back to the hill. 
He's, I think he might, he's probably at the point now where he hasn't seen anybody on radio tower that he's worried about that Southern Hill. We're going to, no, no, he's got uh, American in his ear over here is calling out infantry in that direction. America even, there's no way he sees them on the backside of that Hill. He's probably seeing some trees or bushes moving around. He's just hunting pixels. <laughs> we might have to tell. Says the man with the 4K monitor. Oh, NSA spy, I think, just called out Dorf's position on that tow. Say again? They would have had a nice opening to, to push him if, while he was turned around. Copy that. We've got... I think the bad part about toes and coronets is you can't really tell which part's the forward-facing portion and the back from, from a distance. So the cornet is at Echo 771. So let's see if he calls it out. Let's see what he sees, actually. Fulcrum, say again. Oh, I've got the doll. I didn't say anything. I didn't they're say anything. They're thinking that they're all okay, on the low ground. ground. Where is the, uh... I think it's Echo 7. Where are those Bradleys at Let right now? Let me just double check it's across the river. It's far. Oh! Right, they Echo called seven, it out! One. Long distance. They called Ooh. it... They called it Dur Did Echo 7-1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A little sandbag base. There's a little sandbag base Do over there. Do they have any the artillery? The tow is. Uh, let me check. check. They have one board. mortar barrage. Copy that. Bolt. Dude... Bradley's need to expose at the same I know time. I'd be a horrible commander, so but I would drop. Up between the two of you. Oh, Bradley putting in if some fire. Bradley, Ooh, did they, they take down two? Yes, they Copy did. That. Got the third one. Bradley Good just eyes, behind Bradley. the hill. Dorf can't see him. Oh, gets a fourth. And see, that's that's a Bradley. Deadly. Good shots. That put some damage on that, that squad. Yeah, just made it a fire team. Oh, yeah, pretty much. I wonder if they're going to call mortars in on that tow position. Or yeah, that's position. what I was saying. I ah. would. <laughs> All right, three and four, give me a BDA on what you're doing. I think it's bad because I, mean, I, I just go with it. I call the tow. The tow. Three is engaged. Enemy I, I just, we may I have can't. I, I just, I, I, I gotta correct myself. I just have to. Copy that. Command be advised. Uh, the Bradley took out four, no, uh, no eyes on really anything from my uh, infantry, foot mobiles up on a hill All right, towards the, one, uh, southeast uh, of the uh, Russian fob four, location. Sweet. Neutralize that AC, yeah, they pretty much push Squad 4 off around. that hilltop. I think Squad 4 is looking at r moving back to the FOB, possibly. Or they might be splitting up. Yeah, Command, I'm going to shift my guys west as well as my striker. We're going to try to work a bit closer with 2. It'll be alright. And we have right no now. idea where the strikers are. We're doing recon. Strikers are down south on the yeah, on the uh, down slope of the mountain. The Russians have no idea where they are. They they just basically called out in command com saying that they have no idea where they are. Well, at least they know where one Bradley is. Is it still there? Yeah, they haven't moved. Yeah, that that's a. That's a dirty sitting place for that Bradley because he's just set up properly so Dorf can't see him. And U.S. Command's on top of the southern hill. He's going to do some glassing, try to see what he can maybe spot out, especially that cornet position. One, uh, for the time being, scan the, uh, I see the north face of that hill. see moving uh, leading up, up the and make sure that they're not slowly. getting by a hat team or something. Not getting very far, though. Squad 3 is just kind of maintaining yeah, their position. I don't blame them. Where are they at? Up north? 
Uh, yeah, that, that okay, northern I see him, yeah. team. Yeah, I was on sandbags and shit up on Delta 7. I think they, they were hoping to catch them. There. Oh, so we got a core out. Bradley in position to engage shot. the tome. Copy that. Oh. What happened? Thinking it hit the striker. No, it Did it? Hit it. Oh, wow. Copy that. Nice. Did it take it out? I see, I see a crewman out. out. We're going to need a lot of fire support for that uh, push up that. I think they're going to take one more shot at it. Strike. Another Keep shot out. Artillery. Direct hit. We hit the on. No, door Ooh. still up. Good there shit. it goes. One striker down. Down to a striker Stand and two my, Bradleys. Uh, it's still up. It's still up. My guy's down. It's still up. It's still up. Uh, was that a ranging artillery that just dropped in? The right hand side of the hill from us, so east side of the yeah, hill. We can see Dorf it. is bailing. I see it right now. Dorf is oh, getting Oh, he got a mortar up. strike on him, huh? It's on the spurn echoes. Something like echo fell seven. on him. For I think that was a lat shot. Was it? Oh, Bartok's on the other side. I guarantee it was a, probably a lat shot right on him. Oh, no, it's the Bradley shooting at him. Ooh. Missed. They're shooting oh, it's the very too high. Shot. Bradley's getting oh, it. Oh, and got it. Bradley. Someone's got to jump on that turret. It's engaging. still up. Bradley three. Bradley three, uh, three, three. Bradley's taking a hit. Pulling back. Copy. Oh, there's... Down it goes. They're hitting it. Yep. We've got good fire on target. One, one Bradley went down. All right, keep that shit suppressed. All right, we're, so we're strike one. We're down one striker. Watch out for the air raid. Ooh, what did they just drop oh, on that the Bradley? Bomb and I missed it. No. Oh. Did they get it? All I saw was a black plume. Yeah, they got it. Oh, I missed no, it. No, wait. To relocate your fucking Bradley. No. As a three is down. Lost wow. Yeah. Uh, one Bradley, so now one you've striker. Got, um, Copy that. Yeah, you got the striker, I think it is. All right, three, do what you can to... Uh... Just trying to take Cover out that coronet. And uh, you guys are going to be moving as a unit soon. Yeah. All right. Okay, they're, they're still they're firing on it. Merrick's not going to try to uh, jump uh, on it. They got to build that thing back up. up and yeah. Uh, Merrick, Merrick's and over here. He's you. like, they're they're still yeah, shooting at it. But once they get oh, done, yeah. I'll, I'll rebuild it. Until you find a place that you feel more comfortable with. And then we'll start pushing on the... I think uh, we still have enough resources we'll over here. Yeah, we sh okay, No. We got infantry, uh, roughly Fox 8-1, Echo 8-3 Hill. Yeah, he's building uh, it back up. North of me. Yeah, he is. Doesn't have to doesn't use any use... resources. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't have to I use any. Okay. Contact up there. Sometimes yeah, it doesn't yeah. make any sense to me. Since I'm All effectively an infantry squad, you want me pushing north? You want me shifting somewhere? We're kind of yeah. I think. Uh, Let's up. Uh... Oh, is that another strike coming in? Another SU-25. Oh, SU now the bad part here is they're gonna see that that toe come back up because it's just yeah, got a fucking... back on him. Almost Those got it. Accurate shots. We just lost over the Bradley. Oh, other Bradley's still up. But he's given yeah, Merrick some time to get this this corn. Now I'm doing yep. it. Nice. Carnet back up. Copy that. The enemy AT is still up. So. And the Bradley, I hope it's not stuck on that hill. He needs to back up and go another position. All right, one, your next objective is probably going to be to take out that. Not going to make it up that hill. Not the way that they're going. Three and four support. We had a call for Let's Foxtrot 1165. Uh, Is there anything for the U.S. forces in that area? Nah, there's nothing. Oh, yes, command. Oh. Uh, can I get a, uh, get a grid for the tow, for the cornet? Yeah, command in uh, yeah, squad two in is just seven, east seven. of that position. Okay, cover that. Four and three, you guys are working together. You need to set up a base of fire right there. Start putting and a bunch of the, uh, a bunch of infantry on top of the hill. They're starting to take they're some fire, so they're going to pull back presence. a little bit. Okay, Get that Bradley firing because they're fucking their coordinates back up. And I'm taking fire. Yeah, it looks like Oddball's squad might be getting a little bit closer with a Bradley. Towards uh, squad one for the Russians. Cornet's looking in that direction. Right here. Uh, no. Make sure you watch the north squad. North. 
Oh, the Cornet's going to catch him before the Bradley sees him. We've got still got fire that, coming um... in, too. Someone's shooting at him up here. Oh, yeah. All right, four, how many people you got? Looks like it's fire coming from the fob. It's me. Uh, we've Ooh. only lost one. Just, we've only lost SL. Yeah, Copy. I think that vehicle on the hill, my mind has escaped me for the name of it, um, you have good eyes on that is stuck. Right now. Oh, really the Bradley? Is. No. Yeah, right right oh, that's bad. Zero ten, zero ten. I would go over there, but I have a feeling that this Bradley, as soon as it pokes up, the dwarf's going to take it out. As soon as the, as soon as the striker peeks onto a high point. Hey, two megas are calling up. They're taking an anchored uh, fire to their northwest, somewhere north of Zero, zero. ten. Zero ten. Zero Possibly ten. Delta nine. Enemy tow position. To your right, Gunner, to your right. Yeah, I hear that gunfire. Far. Engage. Is he, is there Go for it. Start shooting. Eyeball's calling in the tow position. Oh. Telling his gunner to spawn in on, shoot in on it. But I think right. he's looking in the wrong direction. One down. One down. He's shooting at squad on one. Target. On target. I think at this point. Oh no, that is little... the tow. Yeah, he's shooting straight at the tow with the Bradley. Yeah. At this point, it's a bit too early to say who has the upper hand. Since the toe is still up, I would say the Russians, but the, Ru the U.S. side still has two of its vehicles. If they can get the one that's currently stuck, unstuck, oh, and down goes the toe, so... Or, Cornet. Cornet? Cornet, or cornet Gunner. Cornet. <laughs> no, they got the, they got the Cornet. The Cornet is gone. Uh-oh. That's no so, bueno. No, I'd have to rescind what I just said. It's the U.S. side has the upper hand with the two vehicles. If well, one vehicle for sure. Yeah. I give them the benefit of the doubt. They still got uh, still trying to work at it over there. Uh, they probably just need to reset it. We'll we'll fly over there and see what they're doing. Oh, All right. looks like it's unstuck. Uh, three, I need you to Just as they get over here, work. but they're going to try to go right back up the same hill. <laughs> Are they going to make it? Little engine that could. They're not going to make it up that hill, Scottish. Back down, no, go another that, way. That's too much of a gradient. Yeah. They really need to just back it up and take it up the slope. Yeah. So Since yeah. the coronet's down, and I'm sure their co your command has already marked the coronet's down. And Scottish is just, he's not going to give up on this hill. <laughs> no, nope, there he goes. Yep, now he's going to move. Yeah, I don't think they know. I don't think they know that the coronet's down. Uh, they if they have the supplies to rebuild it, I'm pretty sure they can put it back up. I didn't see anything about no build after live. Uh, 500, 600 meters away. I don't. All right. Let me go check the dock. Well, that cornet's down right now, and they've used. Oh, they know it's down. Strikes on you, so you can expose the Bradley a little bit more. And command saying they've used the two strikes. The cornet is down, and you can expose the Bradley more. They're not being uh, shy with their vehicles anymore. Anymore. Might be bad for the Russians. Now, it doesn't say that they can't build after live, but it does say they can build before live. Okay. Well, so. Got but one they don't them. have any more. Oh, they don't have any more supply points. Yeah. Yeah. No more build points. Uh, oh no! Wait. Does the cornet use build points or does it use ammo? Main, uh, it uses build points request. to set it down, and then ammo, you know, to shoot the ammo.
Anything you build up hey, uh, you has to use points. To you, like, zero, three, three. That's true. There's an infantry squad on the side of that hill. Move forward, move forward. Hold, 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 hold. I think the striker is going to be starting to put some rounds down range. We're only sitting at nine kills for the U.S. and seven for the Russians. Still a little even. I don't know who got the nine for the U.S. Right, three, uh, give me an update on your I know head has got uh, three as an FTL. I don't know if I doubt he. No, he's not in the vehicle. Infantry. I've got two Ryan for Bartok. One he's FTL. the gunner of uh, the Copy one that. Bradley that's still uh, up. So there's two seven that are accounted for. And then Lex Ryan, I think he was in the other. Oh, he was in the other Bradley. He got the other four kills. Yep. Oh, got more coming down. Uh, right. Oh, I forgot this Private Clancy. He's got four. two. Uh, I need you guys to be concerned with suppressing. He's the gunner in this uh, side, but I also striker that we're looking at. In Foxtrot 8. Three, that's going to be your objective. Four is going to provide fire this support. not looking two good for one. the Russian forces over oh, we'll here on the uh, south. And then, no, uh, not at all. I mean, they got off that. an infantry okay, foot mobiles yeah, plus a striker a that are pushing right. on to them. Correct. Four is going to provide some direct fire for you, but also one and, and two will have I don't uh, have think they have any lats on them. Who is this over here? This is squad one, maybe? All right, two, maintain your fire support position. Yes. One, I want you to move forward. Uh, I need you to get... Uh, they take have... Take that spur in Delta 9... You're not going to be no sorry unless you get that zone. Nothing. Oh, so man, this is bad. For they have all an the last down. Though. Eight hill or Delta 7 hill? Because the Delta 7 Delta hill. I think the engineer has the AT mine, doesn't it? It's the, the big one on top of the mountain. Yes. But they got to place it down. That's true. The but if they're the sneaky, defense, they could do it. Uh, you could probably move a stationary emplacement, but you got to have the supplies to do it and the bradley is putting down some rounds Command onto this three, russian fob moving to west to echoes eight six just peppering it all right copy that spray and left or right keep yep. that bradley actually i'm pretty sure positions. as long as they had the extra points they could have moved the uh the core um because there's nothing in the op doc stating that once it's placed down it has to stay where it is I've seen some of the other docs Dude, you state that once the cornet's placed, it shoot? cannot be moved. Not sure. Wait. So that would have been a viable option, but could have been. They didn't have any build left, and it got destroyed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. But yeah, they don't have any. Ah, how do they not have any lats left? Oh, no, they got one butterfly. Butterfly is a lat. squad one? Uh, no, I'm sorry, squad three. So they have one lat left in game. Yeah. That's it. For, That's their only anti-armor. Yeah. <laughs> For a Bradley and a striker. I don't see how they could do this. Uh... You never. Uh, 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 I'm trying to be optimistic. You just never know what's gonna happen. You really don't. You have yeah, no true. idea. They could start putting down mines on roads, and then all of a sudden, you lose both vehicles at the same time. Next to the sand. I don't think the vehicles are limited to the road travel, though, are they? I see that. Uh, no, they're not. But once they get around the compound, you put them in the inside of, you put them anywhere, you know, pushing up one of those hills. Put it somewhere where you know the vehicle's going to be like, oh, that's an easy place to, out, you know, go up a hole or go up a hill. If they push the hill, you got to remember they they can engage that hill if they go on any side of them yeah. and have perfect view of its top. Dude, what's the grid of the contacts you're taking right now? So they don't have to get in close to take out the the uh, Russian forces. They have contacts in Delta Eight, Delta Unless Nine area. Unless the uh, mission Copy. admin demands oh, we're to get it. We're the Bravo Ten and move north yeah. up the Bravo, and then eventually into the Alpha grids. Yeah, and there's. No I mean, at this point in time, ah oh, man. 
I, I I say this only because I know the layout of the enemy forces for the you know what the Russians have. I would just push in. I would push in like at least another two three hundred meters. We just lost the bro pondin. No. Yeah. Oh sevens in chat for a liberal pundit. Yeah, the lat could track the that, that the Bradley, that but right that's now. about it. Negative. And after that, okay. it's kind of yeah, you know, still a Bradley, and you can repair it. Yeah. And... Unless they have an ammo bag and they can just keep. I want to say it's an it. Echo Seven One. I don't know if that's within line of sight of you. Yeah, but once that lat carrier is right, down, three, they've got nothing. Full assault. And that's the big oh, the issue. The moving west. Once you lose your ability to engage them at range, you are to, uh, get severely a couple, handicapped. Get an AR two to cover uh, three's assault. Right, what side is who three, on uh, three, Imperial? I can give you some smoke if you want. Yes, he was on the Russian side. Liberal was on the Russian oh, side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, copy that. Echoes 86 looks clear. All right, you're going to get smoke. Got some smoke coming in. Maybe we'll get a push here. I think we move on to Echo 86 and... Three holes. smoke here. is coming in. Yeah, you don't want to rush in and then just lose your assets, you know, within the first five, six minutes. And plus, this is a large map. It goes from Alpha to November. That's what? Hey, at least our medic's still alive. I thought you were a little farther forward than that. Medic! Almost medic. four and a half kilometers. By four and a half kilometers, I'm dying. it's big. Oh, yeah. smoke village. oh my god! Yeah, Thank you. I had to do some math. I had to pull my shoes off so I can keep count. <laughs> Better math than me. Bradley's still putting some fire down inside of that fob. Those people in the fob have got to just be like, "All right, this is like just just right, stop. Okay, We're gonna just start pushing off attack." North from here. Copy. They're gonna start pushing in from the north. Got right some now. smokes Smoke. going down towards the southeast east. They're set up in Echo Seven, right? The, the, the enemy fog is right? on Delta Seven. Enemy. Delta 7. Oh, got some enemy smokes coming in. Position is in Echo Eight. That three is assaulting right now. I mean that Brad, uh, that Bradley. If they still had the cornet, is just sitting on top of the ridge, like you can't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, four, what's the status of that corner? There's really nothing that can take him down, Is except for, down at, uh, as said, that down. lat. And that is in, we said, squad three? All right, our active yeah. attack is going to be... Just if they had a Bartok the warrior on their side. Cover. We'll start uh, leapfrogging our way forward. All right, three, Let's see what you got. We have eyes on Bob. Position. That north. smoke's not going to be there West. forever, so. We are in Echo 86. Looks clear so far. Two eyes Copy on that. The they may be on the reverse slope. Echo 77. Got squad one moving. Far to, to the northwest their, uh, side bags. of the objective. We're gonna have to make a nice little run Copy on that. foot. Right, let's start expediting our uh, our move here. They got Two the time, and no five. one's rushing. Push forward. Not <laughs> by the team <laughs> standard. Yeah, one, they're they're def everyone's street. definitely taking their time you, uh, on this operation. Fire from there as best you can. Four, uh, keep Copy. hammering. How's your ammo doing on uh, your breath? Oh, yellow. Yellow and ammo. Yeah, they got Copy all that. the time in the world. As long as they don't alert any of the uh, 
guys that the Russians have out keeping an eye in each direction. You can also use that tow to knock out Sambat. I think we've got for the Russians uh don't get shot and long darts so watching them the western on, like, and southwestern direction yeah this bradley definitely i mean it's got a Dude. great vantage point here from the radio tower but they need to push up i mean at least to this hill where, where am i sitting at now no idea you know hit up to the, the golf golf fox line there's a hill they need to at least push up to that yeah all right, command, we're moving into Bravo 8 now. Especially we're since out in here, get eyes out to the they north have north an infantry north squad, north. you know, Copy. pretty damn Tail, close to, move, to the FOB location. Early. And it's only five of them. Uh, command, three, what's your status? Three, we have enemy contacts uh, west uh, in Delta 862. Copy that. Just two. a fire team. Copy two. Can you get eyes on that while you're moving? Repeat last, sorry. Basically west of uh, it's three not three bad games to now. be cautious, but... That's a Understood. rock formation with the trees on it. You know? Understood. Not doing anything with yeah. them is even yeah, the worse. Like exactly. What's a nipple? A titty. I understand. I, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. <laughs> My tongue decided I didn't want to move the way I wanted it to. Um, it's just they got to get over the fact that they don't know if they destroyed that cornet or not. And I mean, you've got two. Oh, no, they know that they destroyed they do? it. They do now? Yeah. Okay. They've known so, for like 20 minutes. <laughs> at this point, hey, I'm, I might not be a. a a military tactician, yeah, but no one's there. I would have moved my armor in a little bit more. I agree with you. I definitely would have moved him in a little bit closer. All right, two. Uh, maintain some 50 cal ammo to keep suppressing AT on top of that hill. Four. It's time for you to start. I mean, moving. even moving them in, you'd still have an uphill advantage to in? almost every other Russian force. You're not going to be moving directly in. I need you to move to a position where you can uh, support us. It's like some mortar rounds coming in on top of the fob. Understood. I need you to move in behind three base. Phoenix taking some suppressing shots. Oh, it looks like the mortars got one. Maybe injured so another. Steve, I need him at the bridge. And side. one pump man. Hey, I'm four again. They did not crawl fast enough. Yeah, Seneca's just out of reach. Say again. You want me to meet three at the uh, Echo 7 bridge? Did they drop another mortar round over here? Uh, or is that just one going? That's just bridge, one barrage. And come in behind three. Wow. We're assaulting from this direction, break, so all of our break, efforts are going to be on. Enemy infantry Delta 8 6 directly west of U3. On the little. Uh, Looks hill. more like the infantry's pushing in, and the Bradley's still just sitting up on radio tower. Yeah, copy that right in there. Okay, I got a uh, one times enemy infantry pulling back off that hill in the north side. And they're calling out Lord Chanka, pulling off the hill, going towards the fob. It looks like uh, Don't Get Shot and Lawn Darts are engaging the forces southwest of them from the Yeah, 3-2 confirmed. West. One time enemy infantry fell back into the valley on the north Position side of that of bridge. The, uh, it should fob. be clear now. Not sure where they're going. We're going to attempt to get a little bit higher vantage on them. And still Free, got the Bradley. Got wiped. Well, Bradley's got a little bit closer. Uh, negative. We just loaded up in a Bradley. Oh, copy. I just saw you yeah, hit this Let me know map. when you're crossing the bridge. Or, I'm sorry, the striker down here to the south. Free, and it looks like the Bradley's way. loaded up uh, and they're going to start moving. Delta 862, enemy infantry, north side of the rock. Eyeball starting to call people out. Let me get an eye. Yeah, eyeball confirmed. Uh, we, we, uh, zero time. they scared, went, scared off to the north. Uh, um, scratch that. There's no one guy still there. On our side, line of sight. Copy that. Yeah. 
Uh, zero, it's zero. a little right, slower three, this time, four, but it's pretty much the same. The Russian forces are slowly Perfect. getting pushed back into their their fog. Four is going to get up on you, and then we're going to be able to push. Top of the mountain there. One, uh, that four? Where did... Uh, I have eight just... up right now. Squad three Copy. is missing Ammo. some people Good over shots. here. Did they uh, get in I contact? Or did they Copy. push them? Uh, I think they pushed them back. Two will be the fire support. Three, you'll be the assault force from your direction. Four will be fire support. Seems that Bradley's going to start pushing in across the river and start getting into the fight a little more. Command may not be able to. Be, I might not uh, be able to move. We got context. You don't need to move right now. That's just in the future. Hey, Firm, I'm just calling out in general. Context in my north. Navy hard to bustle. Copy. I just killed a fucking friendly. Oh no, tactical tater. <laughs> He's firing in on oddball squad. Uh -huh. That's the worst feeling ever. I was wondering what he was firing at, and then I was like, wait a company. second, he's firing at friendlies, and then he just called it out. Oh no, Bartok! Company it just killed Tactical Tater! Oh no! It's the worst uh, feeling uh, when you uh, commit uh, a team kill. Uh, it's a team kill, then a team kill. We will be doing so shortly. <laughs> On the same person who team killed first. Oh no! <laughs> It is it is the worst feeling in a one life operation to team kill. It is like um it's like the wor it's like a gut wrenching feeling. It is the worst. No one wants to do it. No. Alright, four with your position. I think that's the reason why some uh puppies that get in here Bradley are is very the bridge. I guess slow on uh clearing entrances. Yes. Just because they don't want to go in fast and open uh, up uh, and realize the person they just the opened up on was a friendly. Yep. That, I mean, that's why you always got to say, you know, friendly, 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 friendly crossing, right friendly coming in. You're going to be pushing up to the hill. Use the comms. Uh, that's what we got them for. To the Echo 7-4 yeah. area. That's going to be your next objective. Uh, the rock formation in the middle is going to get surrounded by us and hopefully oh, and we just lost our last lat either okay. died Command, or I got to, dc I have to assault the hill. oh I, to to uh, I got a contact That's in my fine. north that would be putting unnecessary flanking fire on yeah if you need to shift uh, uh, charlie eight and up up the hill there to hit from direct south and cop two is going to be covering you i want to see Chanka just sit in this building, wait for people to pass him. Do you want two to just and then just go on a rampage, just, just taking U.S. forces thing. out left and right. Way. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. You don't think? You know the? Yeah. I don't and think. Two and four. All right. Wave. I think the U.S. forces are gonna push their their uh, western three, forces three, and and keep everything else on the hill there. Oh, work their way up to it. Yeah. Yeah, because you still got oddball squad out there on the west side. You got squad two down to the south. You got the Bradley moving into the south right next to the uh, striker. And you got lawn darts and don't get shot over here. Just all right, four. I need you to deal with those contacts and taking pot shots from the uh, northern end of the west side of the map. Four gives you the go ahead. One, move whenever you need to, but let's start the assault now. All right. U.S. command saying let's start the assault now. Ooh, when we, uh, when, we got when tired we of waiting. Uh, you got to, I mean, this map is so huge that you just got to find everyone before you can just push your forces into it. I get the feeling the map's huge because I'm I'm used to being able to see a, a nice chunk of names on of my everyone. Screen. Yeah, yeah, and I'm it's sitting out here in the open. I'm barely seeing the U.S. forces because they're so far away. Hey, you almost forget about squads on the other side that are just you know doing doing their thing, and then you're yeah. like, oh, where the, where the hell did you come from? They pop back Fox into your nine. visual range. It doesn't matter how high you got your <gasps> render distance. Revy might run into him. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got to catch it. He might hit a mine. Two surviving. Oh. Engaging multiple. All right, three. You need Am to I going to get to it? I don't think he sees it. Nope. They're starting. 
I don't know if they saw it. 40 meters. 305, 307. Oh, yeah, Pony popped meters. out. We found a mine. We're Pony going, going to dig it up. It up. Oh, they yeah, found it. There's they a found the mine. Oh, they're looking all the way out here for a mine. It's Good on them. them. It's right here. Wow. Good on them. And Good Killer eyes. J has found it. Good Don't eyes. There's an AR team in the buildings one. Oh, I thought they were going to run over it. Do they have any more in their way? On the other side of that bridge, they might hit one. But that's about it. Good eyes. Whoever caught that, good eyes. Let's try to dislodge those ARs with the 50. If we can. Let me roll along the road. I'm not sure where they placed all the mines at. Uh, the only the only other two are on the other side of the bridge. Problems for three and one. Up here in Delta not Delta eight nine. Oh yeah, it's just uh, like. Do you see that AR like that's firing from like zero one Delta eight, Delta se well seven and eight uh I'll get rows. That's where they have them now. But I'm surprised that they they caught them that far out. Good on them to spot hang on, hang that. On. All right, you're good. You're good. Three got engaged in the valley. They just lost a bunch of guys. We're at a command comms with them. Uh oh. Squad three. three. Do you want us to push up? Now? Seems like they. Oh yeah. There's only one person left. Salty toast. They just got taken we down. Aim their squad dwarf killers, and they uh, didn't fulfill that right. one. We need the Bradley in, in action here. Get it up on the hill if you can, and start putting rounds. It's on a hill. It's Bye. got eyes on on their shooting. Oh. Copy that. All right. Bradley's in play. Shooting towards the south side of this hill that they got the fob set on. Possible contact on my hill to my north, Delta 87. One, there was an enemy AR in the building, Delta 874. That's your west, 50 meters. Copy, yeah, we Right? Right? Yeah, you're on your Nice, nice. Four, I'm heading over to where you are. Man, I'm getting my assault with the infantry. I'm, I'm leaving the uh, Bradley there. Come on, can we get smoke on the hill now? Copy that. Give me the request. I'll put it in. Bradley's putting down some damage. Trying to suppress this hill. Uh, while infantry going. pushes up a little bit closer. infantry real close looks like alpha guido and they move right past uh floss mcgruff lagar and amonas from right now for your thin bones Two. uh who is this fuck up. one fuck up. scopes and three. spirits rogue Uh, we're on a 30 second delay and also if they get caught they will be banned from anything squad ops related at all and alpha guido caught him he's close That's last time the next compound over hurt yeah, one they know that they're over there Copy. But alpha did get kind of really close in between them Smoke's coming out on top of the point. Uh, Alpha's gonna say, "Screw it!" He's gonna start rushing the objective. All right, once we get with them later. Right now with the fire team, supporting fire team, moving up behind us. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We're going to be assaulting the fob. Oh, he says I'm scared. 
Alright, see you guys at the top of the hill. Let's move to the west. Oh, shots, shots. I got a shot in the back. He's behind, he's behind. He's behind. Alright. Make sure you band. Use this hill as best we can, guys. Push as close as we can up. Closer. Alpha Guido is going to be getting in real close. He's going to start doing some damage on some people. Probably get the radio down and then let everyone else push in while the Russian forces have to go in. Just a quick count. We got 17 to 11. Still somewhat even. Frag's out. Frag out. Frag. We're getting shot. We're getting Ooh, shot. Someone got with a got a grenade out. Fire, Didn't catch that one. And then he got Definitely Salem not. Dagger. He yeah, goes yeah. down. All right, let's do the same. Russian forces are real spread out. There's only three defending this hill. Spread it out. Spread it out. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spread it out. Oh. Seneca. You know where Alpha's coming from. Ooh, down goes Sergeant yeah, Slope Sergeant. There's enemy to the west Don't and east talk. of us right now. We're going to flash out a fight. Spread it out. Spread it out. Maybe as my assault has completely petered out here. Ooh, Alpha We're Guido a lot of moving fire up the hill. Well, possibly friendly fire. What do we got? We got Seneca staring him down. Yeah, we got Before Seneca. Got He's taking out two, and we got uh, looks like Thin. Ooh, oh, down wow. goes Alpha. Thin Bones left for the assault. Still waiting for the rest of the U.S. forces to push up on the hill. And Eyeball is taking Alpha Guido's spot in this little outcropping that still has lagger. Sergeant Jackson I no pushing in. I got no, I, I got no bandages. I got no bandages. I'm, I'm about to die. Sergeant Jackson has I, no I bandages. No I need to heal me. He need needs to heal, to heal from bandages. Tinkerbell. Still got Imones, and it looks like Fluffs McGruffs watching this. No. Nope. Who'd you? No, we're good. There might be a second one. Because this guy got killed from the outside. Yep, yep, Ooh, yep. silent goes. Oh so, wow, Imanez yeah, got Imanez silent. Him. Yeah, we still got Sergeant right, Jackson and Tinkerbell. All right, two with and the your main man, Block F16, moving in. Sergeant Jackson gets Fluffs McGruffs and leaves just Imanez. Oh no! Shit, no. Sergeant, Jackson Sergeant Jackson down by Imanez. Oddball moving in real fast. Passing nade. Cooking. Oh, he's going to... There's one on the roof. One oh, on the roof. One on the and roof. he caught him out on the roof. I don't have any grenades. I'm a medic. There was one on the roof. Block trying to take him out. Yep, he gets Block him. Block got him. We got a Bradley pushing in on the... I guess this is the south side of the hill. Let's try to reconnect with whatever remnants of one are left up at the uh, top. Not seeing anything come. I don't know. Is the... Uh, no, Striker pushing in. I don't think the Bradley's up anymore. Did the Bradley go down? Still got some Russian forces way out here. It looks like it's... Uh, this is Raggy and... Uh, Opus Outer Squid. Firing in on people going up those hills. Oh no, the Bradley is still up. It's with command. Fox 8 Hill, potentially enemy. If it's friendly, cease fire. Got that two man team over there still on the hill for the Russians, just harassing what's left of the American forces. All right, yep. four, you got your Bradley. Yeah, that's fire. all it is really right now, is just a harassing right, friendly. as they're going up the hill. They're going to have to, they're going to have to come back and defend. Once the U.S. take this hill. Yep. So for the Russian side, we've got Mr. Raggy, uh, one out squad. Let's see here. Who else? Yo, uh, Fizco, Seneca, Evan Fox SMA. Enemies. Echo eight don't get shot. And I think that is it. For the Russian side. Yeah, because we're sitting at 24 we're kills for the Army or U.S. forces and 20 for the Russians. And Argus, if you, Arkansas, if you want to join in on this, head over to the website, squadops.gg, and make an account and then link it on our Discord, discord.gg slash squadops. 
check out our squad there. basic we got one uh i think it's next thursday we don't have i pull that up but... at the end of the stream and then once you do the squad uh once you do the SWAT basic you can get in on these one life events screen and bring up your bradley behind yeah, all my infantry is ready on the top of the hill. Just uh, three infantry and the brown. What is up with the American forces trying to drive their vehicles up things that it's not up the hill supposed to do? <laughs> trying yeah. to avoid mines, all right, nice. which they've actually done. Fuck them up. And the U.S. forces take down one more Russian up on top of this objective. Yep. Is Russian command still up or is he down? Where's Dorf? Um, he's gone. He did. Oh no. <laughs> I think he. Uh... Went down a while ago. Do we have any eyes? Yeah, already? Seneca's bar staring down the barrel of a Bradley right now. He's he's got a bush behind him and a Bradley, and that is it. He's got a lot of U.S. forces coming towards him. There is nothing we can do about that. Not a thing. Yep. No lats. No hats. Engineers place their mines. Think about you, that man. Don't get shots over here, just trying to survive on a flat top. I'm here. Fuck. You good? I got shot. There's contact west, and then somebody, one of our squad mates squad is moving to the southeast. Uh, they're walking Northern right United, past Seneca. And they're calling out, don't Bradley. get shot down to the southeast. Yeah, like, southeast. Right, let's, let's, let's move north. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Outer Squid. Yeah. And Mr. Raggy. They still don't know. Se oh, they found Seneca finally. Oh. Looks like it's, what, down to don't right, get shot. To Mr. Raggy and Outer Squid. To the, uh, west. Yo. They're in bushes on the objective. Be careful. Check bushes. Copy. I think that's it. Just those three. Don't Mr. Raggy's pushing close to Phoenix. Don't get shot and Raggy are communicating via command comms, but that's it. Don't get shot might be getting Abu Haraj. Don't get shot, might get shot. Oh, yeah. the radio. Radio's on me. Oh no! Radio's and he goes and down. Contact yep. west of me. Mr. Raggy's all alone. Yep, just down to Mr. Raggy. They found the radio. They're going to start dinging it down like now. Guys that are still out there to the east. But you know that's not going to be the end. Yep. Come on, Mr. Raggy. SL. Alright, we're getting the radio down, guys. It's on my position Can't go right that now. way. You'll fall down the hill. No, no. Out and goat. Ah, uh, yes. Those Scandinavian skills. <laughs> oh, if he's not careful. Uh oh, uh oh, is he really shooting at the? <laughs> he's really no, he's shooting, shooting at, killer. at the Bradley. Oh, I thought he was shooting at the Bradley. <laughs> no, he was shooting at Killer Jafe. Oh I man. thought he was shooting at the Bradley too, and I'm I'm going uh oh because I see the Bradley turret just turning, turning. I'm like it stared at him, and then just kept turning. I'm like oh. Oh, and he's gonna yeet a grenade right over towards Revy. Oh no, it just missed. Let's go, Ragnar. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's basically over. I think he's just gonna try yeah. to take some people out and uh, have some fun while doing it. Watch for them shift around. Let's go ahead and cut engines on, uh, so we can... Draggy gonna attempt to clutch it. Yeah, he, he tagged Oddball. Me, he's, he's actually putting some good rounds on people. The issue is, 
the American forces know where he's going and what he's doing. It, nothing he oh, can they, do. They they don't they think there's more than just one. Oh 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 no. oh. They're still searching for other people. Sugarheart almost down. Hey, he almost got command. Popping red smoke on enemy. And Shug's gonna pop red smoke towards the enemy. Everyone, oh, and there he goes. He is down I now. I think that was Revy. Yeah, I think that was Revy. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's gonna be GG for us tonight. Just waiting for the call from Event Admin. He oh, did there it, it is. All. Yeah, he did. Yep. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. I uh, hope you enjoyed both rounds. All right, guys, I, think we're uh, I know I had some fun doing all of this. I'm pretty sure Killer Man did too. Uh, this it's always fun, especially having two commentators. It's it's different. Like it's it's a whole new element. I, I like it. Glad that oh, you yeah. came out. I'm glad I came out too.